Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on November 7th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where I give you a full world update on space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Having a look at the last 48 hours on the sun, it's been somewhat quiet, some outgoing activity, and we do have some new sunspots to talk about that are cresting around our sun right now. We did, we did see a small C-class flare today and an outgoing CME. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, little earth to scale comparison, not too much activity coming in right now. Looking at outgoing here, did have a CME and plasma filament eruption in the outgoing position. No earth-facing coronal holes to talk about, nothing major anyway. There are a couple diminished, trying to form there in the equatorial region. But it's these two sunspots here that I'm really worried about as they are showing some complexity within. And there's a minor plasma filament eruption. Having a look here, 171 angstroms at all of the space weather from the last 48 hours the sun has produced. And again, nothing major thwarted our way. All is quiet. Somewhat right now. Have a quick look at Iswa Spiral. You can see outgoing CME projected right at Bepi satellite. Real-time solar wind starting to calm down, sitting at about 437 kilometers per second after being up over 500 kilometers per second for the past three days. Four days, actually, when it jumped up to 777 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux remains in B-class range. KP index is low. Solar proton flux low as well. Quick look at Alaska 2 and 3 imagery as well. There's that small CME ejecting from the sun. And if anybody doesn't know what we're looking at here, the circles in front of the sun, that's there so that we are not blinded. And it's showing all of the activity from around the sun. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 48. Quite a healthy spike there earlier today around 2 p.m. So the energies are flying with an amplitude of 48 and quality of 8.1. Power of 26. Let's have a quick look at earthquakes as it's been pretty quiet, only observing 150 earthquakes according to USGS the last 24 hours and the two largest the last 24 hours here, 5.4 in Tonga region, 10 kilometer depth, as well as 5.2 in Takaka, New Zealand, pretty deep earthquake for New Zealand. Lots of activity yesterday throughout Indonesia, started the day off with a 6.0 earthquake in Gorontolo at a 39 kilometer depth and through the region they've been seeing fours and fives following that large 6.0 yesterday let's get back to the last 24 hours around the planet 4.6 here being recorded in india gangtok india 10 kilometer depth as well as 4.2 here afghanistan 93 kilometer depth quiet through the african plate south america really quiet today 5.1 5.1 here, South Sandwich Islands, 64 kilometer depth. Looking through Central America, the Caribbean plate, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, seeing a minor earthquake, 3.6, the largest. Alabama, Union, Alabama, rare earthquake there, 2.5, as well as 2.5, Quinton, Oklahoma, 3.2 there, at Stanley, Round Valley as well, seeing earthquakes today. No major swarms to talk about. Just having a quick look here. There's actually 222 earthquakes now the last 24 hours. Most of them have been up in Alaska. No major swarms. Again, here looking at the West Coast over California. 
small minor swarm at Cobb, the Springs, and that's about it. Pretty quiet through Los Angeles. Most recently here seeing the activity through Stanley, Idaho. And you can see all of the activity here over Alaska, right up into the Bering Strait, looking out at about 100 earthquakes in this region, as well, two small ice quakes to report. Also, wanted to give you a quick La Palma update, 3.6 there off the coast, another one 2.9 off the coast, 12 kilometers off. Largest earthquake today through La Palma was a 4.5 reported about eight hours ago. And the minor activity seems to be slowing down. Normally we're sitting at about, well, normally it looks to be about 200 minor earthquakes in the region. And it's pretty quiet today. Having a look across Europe, a lot of minor activity through Greece and up into Italy. And as well, some major movement here, Tibetan Plateau, up into China. Xinjiang, China. Now, USGS does not report La Palma or China. And that is the last 24 hours across the world. Increasing earthquakes here through Japan, though, a little bit concerning considering all of the deep earthquakes we've seen recently. So heads up, Japan, a lot of activity coming to you. We could see something large with all of these deep earthquakes that we've been seeing the last few days. Having a quick look, the last seven days for earthquakes. And it's been an average week, I would say. Having a look around the planet. A lot of deep earthquakes coming out of the Kermadex, Fiji. And as well, deep earthquakes in South America. But pretty quiet considering, I would say, especially through Central America, the Caribbean Plate, and North America. Look at all of that action up along the east side of the Ring of Fire. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing you the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Starting out here, looking at Ibu in Indonesia, Fuego in Guatemala, Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia, Sabinkaya in Peru, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Karamiski, Russia, Sangay, Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, Manam, Papua New Guinea, La Palma in Spain, Ebico in Russia, Shivalich in Russia, Popo, Mexico, Nevadas de Chilean, Colombia. Semisnapochnoi, United States. And as well, Semeru, Indonesia. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today. Pretty active day for volcanoes. We're going to get into the volcanic activity report coming tomorrow, weekly, as we go into week 45. Two, or three tropical storms to talk about. Tropical storm Wanda still spinning through the Atlantic Ocean as well through the East Pacific here. We have tropical storm Terry from three days ago and as well new tropical storm Sandra has formed heading westward. Both of these storms in the East Pacific. Things drying out across eastern Canada right now and warming up. Five-day forecast coming up quickly here. Just giving you a quick show of satellite imagery around the world. And no major hurricanes or typhoons forming in the West Pacific. Just a lot of rain. Observing some pretty big systems still in the West Pacific. Heading eastward. And there's going to be an even bigger one heading our way. And it's going to be cold. Five-day forecast is going to be very interesting, and it is coming up right now. Winter storm conditions, western United States, and as well, winter storm, the Yukon. Alaska saw 11 feet of snow over the last little while, and they're about to get a lot more. Having a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by MediaWorth and daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Brentford, Ontario. 
as we had some very nice weather and it's going to continue here for the next few days, especially ahead of this big low, Colorado low and Alberta clipper forming together here for a big nor'easter and as well lots of rain for the coastline BC and northward pretty much northern California and northward higher elevations will be receiving a lot of snow through BC and things are going to start cooling down right after this big system comes through very strong winds along the coast so heads up Alaska and BC and as well, we're going to see some pretty strong winds with this system as well as it forms in the long range. We'll have to see what it does. Overlooking the Atlantic, Tropical Storm Wanda, and as well this system coming off the, the coast of Carolinas is going to slowly move into the center of the Atlantic and then join forces here with the system coming out of northeastern Canada. Overlooking Europe, dry and as well warm conditions moving in, pretty warm high pressure ridge moving in, and low pressure system still locked in the Mediterranean right now. High pressure keeps building above it. Eastern parts of Europe, cold and snowy. Overlooking China and Russia, these temps are really starting to drop in parts of Siberia. And as well, watch the high pressure ridge that builds in behind this low is really going to start bringing down these cold temperatures in the long range forecast up to minus 32 in some areas and that's without the wind chills big system here affecting the koreas and northward low pressure system here in india and sri lanka it's going to hang, be hanging around for the next five days as well. That low pressure system on the west side of India in the Indian Ocean. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia. And then we get to Australia. And down under, we've got a big problem. A very large low is developing here through central parts of the continent and is going to bring a mixed bag and some extreme weather all across Australia. Watch for a lot of lightning strikes, and after that, I'm sure, wildfires. Next five days here overlooking New Zealand, pretty dry until Wednesday, Thursday. Watch for that system to come in off of Australia. Overlooking the Pacific, got a low-pressure system here that will be heading towards Hawaii in the long range. You could see some big rains coming from the west this time. Very interesting weather indeed. South America, daily evaporation rains, nothing major to talk about there. No extreme weather or out of the ordinary weather forecast. Africa as well, same thing, no major systems affecting you, except for that low pressure system, South Africa, which was forecasted last video. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the major systems spinning around our hemispheres right now. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining the channel, following along, all of your memberships, donations. It really helps to further the research and development with this channel. Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, share with a friend or family, come on into the chat stream. I apologize, my Streamlabs is not working right now, so the streams are not my regular streams. Looking forward to hopefully getting that fixed. Leave you here looking at this large system off the coast. It's going to bring on a strong system heading towards North BC and Alaska. Much love, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today,
today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.